I want to take a few minutes and just do an introduction video about IEW so that you understand the process. It's really helpful if parents kind of know the journey and the path at which we're taking, maybe at what point they're interjecting their student into the path. And so this is just a quick video for parents so that you can see the entire scope and sequence of IEW and be more equipped, more well equipped to help your student on this journey. So I'm going to screen share a document with you. And this is the structural models of IEW. IEW teaches nine structural models that we journey students through and teach them different elements along the way. So we begin here with unit one and two. And in unit one, we are just teaching students how to keyword outline sentence by sentence um, from a source text. So this is, we're teaching students how to get information out of a text, out of a book, out of a, you know, it could be a website document, anything. We're teaching them how to pull the facts out and how to take notes on it. And we call that note taking method keyword out lining and we use numbers and symbols and abbreviations and I find that this is just an invaluable skill that your student can learn really in any note-taking format that they encounter in their academic career. I find that I take, I utilize it um, in areas of my life. I just find myself keyword outlining. So it's very, very valuable. And in unit two, we teach them how to go from their keyword outline, those notes that they've now taken, and how to write a text, write it back into a text that is in their own words. You know, in the day and age where we can easily copy and paste from the internet, we have to teach students how to put things into their own words, how to rephrase subject matter matter and report back about what they've learned and that's what we do in unit one and two and we do this by just going sentence by sentence if you have a young writer this is usually right on par with where they're at if you have an older student a lot of times they can move through this unit very very quickly Next, IEW moves on to Unit 3, and this is where we use keywords to take notes about a story or to write a story, and we focus on character and setting, plot and climax, resolution and conflict, and this is a really fun unit. We teach them how to imitate good authors and how to come up with stories, and this is usually a three-paragraph paper. Then over here in unit four, we go back to learning how to take information out of source text and we teach them how to summarize a reference, how to take out keywords that are important and interesting and even relevant. And through practice, the students really learn what is important to note. And we teach them the importance of a topic and a clincher sentence in every single paragraph. Colleges across America and missions um, directors a lot of times say the number one thing students deal with is clarity of thought in their writing. And so right here in unit four, we are teaching them to be very clear to state their topic when they are writing. And we're using those same keyword outlining principles. But instead of going sentence by sentence, because you can't deal with a large text in a sentence by sentence format, we use, we keyword outline from ideas and from concepts. So we can start dealing with a lot larger source text and a lot larger quantity of information. And then in unit five, we jump over and we do writing from pictures. A lot of traditional schools do this as writing from prompts. We're beginning to teach the students how to ask themselves questions if it's a topic or a creative thing to get information out of their brain and onto the paper. We're teaching them how to see outside of the picture, what might have happened before, what might have happened after. And this is a really fun unit. I find a lot of kids, they really enjoy this because we get some pretty, pretty funny stories and, and ideas going here. Then IEW jumps back to Unit 6, which is going back to this report writing, essay writing. And now at this time, we're not going to just go to one source, but we're going to have multiple sources and we're going to have multiple topics and we're going to begin to teach them how to organize that information. It doesn't matter later on if it's a history paper, a science paper. Whatever it is, a report, a letter to grandma, we're going to show them how to break that information into very bite-sized chunks to accomplish a much larger goal. Once again, so they're going to work at doing what we call a fused outline in this situation. 
In unit 11, or excuse me, unit 7, we go over to uh, a really fun unit where we learn how to just write from our mind. So we write about something that we actually already have a lot of base knowledge about. A lot of my students like to write about their favorite video games, about favorite amusement parks, but we're also teaching them how to put an introduction and a conclusion and really rounding out what we call the five paragraph essay. But note, every time we're doing our prep for these lessons um, and for these papers, we are still using the keyword outlining principles that we learned way back here in unit one and two. All right, and this is a fun unit easy to do. I find the students really enjoy that. Then in unit eight, we really do our formal essay and research paper. This is a, a little bit of a heftier project. This is a project that can teach them how to write papers into college and into, into high school and into college, but we follow that five paragraph structure. We teach them how to find good sources, how to identify their topics from sources, how to then group their topics into ideas and write from those. They're fusing. This is really kind of the pinnacle of the IE W program. And then lastly on the end here is unit nine and unit nine builds on unit three where we've learned how to tell a story but we add an intro and a conclusion to it and we give the students what we call critique language and so we teach them how to critique the story or teach them how to critique a movie and they really like that and we teach them the goal of this is we want them to start having solid opinions and being able to articulate the why behind their opinion so instead of just saying they didn't like like a story. We want to give them critique language where they could say something like the characters were not well developed or the plot was not believable or something like that. And I find the students really enjoy being able to bring out their critique language. And so this is, these are the structural units. And I find that these become great tools that your student has in a toolbox that later on, if they're writing in a different program or they're in a different subject with a different teacher, they can look back to this and say, okay, what unit paper would best apply to this situation. And they can pull it out and many times I'll say to my students, well, that's just a unit four paper, or that's just a unit eight paper. And then they know exactly what to do. They have the how to's of how to write. Now, the other aspect of IEW that is very, very important is what we call style. And this is adding a little bit of flair and not just what to say, but how to say it well. And so, as we go through those structure units, we then teach them these style elements that they should be including in their paper. And these are woven throughout the units, introduced little by little. This is a pretty comprehensive list that I put together and a master checklist that I use in my classes. And what we do is we teach them that they're up here at the top, there are certain elements that should be in every paragraph. I find even when I'm writing a professional email, I will be checking to make sure I have my quality adjective and my strong verb. And if your student can internalize these items, it will improve their writing no matter where they go. These are some advanced dress ups that are a little bit more advanced. And we, we touch on these not as much, but um, I do like to introduce them. These ones are the ones we really bring home and try to make sure that they walk away knowing and understanding. And students have to practice writing these in a natural way. In the beginning, a lot of times they're just forcing it in because it's required. But over time, as they get more familiar with the process and they start expanding the vocabulary, these become more natural. Down here in the green section, we have what we call our sentence openers. And we start challenging the students to make sure they vary the way in which they start their sentences, to add more interest to their writing so that it's not just the same starting, the this did this, the this did that, the this did this. And this is just a great tool. I have high school students who are no longer with me and when I see their paper or whatever, I might just say to them, hey, you need to vary your sentence openers. And they know exactly what I mean because they've really internal this list. The last part right here or the red part right here is what we call decorations and we teach students to just add a few of these to their paper. One, it requires kind of knowing their audience and what style of paper that they're actually writing and there's some of the fun tropes and schemes of literature that actually make stories more interesting, make speeches more memorable and we teach them to put those in and these are usually the most fun for students to work with and I find they enjoy them very much. And at the bottom of our checklist, I just have a quick checklist of the process of which the student should go through when writing their paper, that they shouldn't skip an editing process, they shouldn't skip a brainstorming process. And this checklist just helps them remember to do that. 
And so each week we assign various elements and we build single week and I check off what they should be doing and then when they write they check it off too be like okay I did include those elements and between the structure and the style what we do is we create a very very concise way for students to feel successful at their writing and if it's a little awkward in the beginning it's like anything else it just takes practice for them to continue to internalize it and make it very natural so this is kind of what you'll be looking for as they go through class depending on on what unit you're enrolled in you might be just cherry picking a unit or going through this entire process with me but this will be the checklist we use for our style as we go so I hope this video has been helpful for you helpful so that you can track along with what your student is doing add a helping hand if they need it hopefully I can get them all on board every single class but I look forward to going through this class with you and your student so have a great day and we'll be getting started very soon with our lessons.